What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another Mighty Up Toys video. Today, man, we are back with some details. We have some details on some brand new AEW action figures. And if you guys missed it out at Double or Nothing Fan Fest AEW this past weekend, we got a ton of new AEW action figure reveals. We broke it all down here on the channel. If you guys missed full in-depth coverage of the event, definitely go check it out on the channel. We broke down every single figure. We talked about the series. We talked about everything going on with it. But today, we're going to get even into more details that maybe I didn't address in the video or something that I noticed taking a back look at the images. I went back through and I detail inspected every single one of them and I have found quite a few things. I've actually found a lot of stuff going on so I want to tell you guys about it and we're going to get into it right now. So with all those things being said man we're going to dive into 10 details that you might have missed from AEW Fan Fest. Now let's go ahead and dive into it. Starting out first guys one of the things that I think a lot of people noticed but maybe you did not and that is going to be pinless joints. We got a lot of new figures shown off that did have the pins in the arms. You can see all the pins and needles and all the different things. No needles. You get you get what I'm saying. But there were a lot of figures that did not have pins. The Supreme Edition Cody and Britt Baker, for instance. Some of the new render images that we've seen of Unmatched Series 7 and Unrivaled Series 12, I do believe, also had no pins in them. So that is going to be huge. I know a lot of people did not like the pins and stuff like that. They don't necessarily bother me that much. I think, you know, I guess just being somebody that poses these figures around and stuff like that and doesn't always just look at them on display. Play. Uh, I don't notice it, you know, I don't always notice it, it doesn't bother me that much, but I think it will add uh, an addition, I think it does look better aesthetically, I just, it's not something that's always bugged me a lot, but we do have pinless joints arriving in our AEW action figures, and that is point number one that I wanted to address. Speaking of the Supreme Edition line, this is something that I didn't notice, I think I knew about it, but I don't think I quite addressed it, is that these Supreme Editions, just like Ultimate Editions, actually have toe pivot or toe articulation, if you guys look down on the Cody and on the Britt Baker from Series 1, you're going to notice toe articulation. Now, I don't remember. I want to say I, I noticed it the first time we saw him, but it's something that I kind of forgot about. I didn't realize it, didn't fully grasp it. But then when you look at these figures' feet, they have a ton of articulation. That's going to allow for even more articulation. You're doing lockups, you're doing different squatting poses and things of that nature, man. You can really take advantage of that using the toe articulation. So I think that's really cool. Adds an added benefit and things like that. So the toe pivot or the toe articulation bend right there, the little flex, is going to be in the Supreme Edition line, which is awesome. I, I, I noticed it, taking a detailed look. You know, we got some different angles of the figures, and that's what I wanted to do include. I have a couple more things here about the Supreme Collection Britt Baker figure. You guys will notice that she comes with not only a Women's Championship, but it's actually a newer version of the AEW Women's Championship. Now, it's not the brand new version that we got this year in 2022. You know, the, the best version, I'd say, but it is the second rendition. I think it was announced at the beginning of 2021 or near the beginning of 2021, we got that newer edition of the Women's Championship, and that is what we're getting with this Britt Baker. So we're actually going to have a new Women's Championship that looks a lot better than the first version, but it's not quite as good as the, the third version that we have right now. But I did notice that it looks a lot better in figure form. I felt like the first go around that figure belt was kind of, it kind of looked like a, a just a miscellaneous accessory with the figures. You guys know that we've seen it with multiple figures now. It just didn't fit in quite well. And now I think the newer one will look great on this Britt other figures and stuff like that so the newer women's championship is really nice and I don't know if you guys even noticed it but she also comes with her pointing promo hand there so we actually get some signature hands from our Britt Baker figure which is awesome as well but I noticed it in her mock image that was one of the things that I noticed and I wanted to bring attention to that so I thought that was quite interesting as well for our Britt Baker. Tons of little details that you, you kind of miss out on this Britt Baker. She also looks like my 8th grade math teacher. I don't know. I, I'd plug her face in, but I feel like that would be against her privacy. I don't want to do that. So, I promise to God it looks just like the figure. Now, the next thing I wanted to address is about the Walmart exclusive CM Punk. This is actually kind of wild, to be honest with you. So, you guys will first notice it's a beautiful CM Punk figure. It's got the AEW hoodie. It's in the nice packaging. So, not only are we getting another additional CM Punk, but this CM Punk comes with two pairs of mic slash object holding hands, you guys will notice. So, if you guys have ever had an MJF figure, you guys will notice that he comes with a mic holding hand most of the time. That's specifically made for microphones, and then you have your regular grabbing hands. Well, this CM Punk is going to come with two versions of, of weapon holding hands. Like, I don't understand why you would get gripping hands and mic holding hands. I wish they would, you know, do away with that. Give us some fists, you know, so you, you could do the X on the chest. You could do some different things like that. You could fight, you know. I mean, he is a wrestler for, for all intents and purposes, so I think fisted hands would have been nice to see right here. He can do the, you know, the it's clobbering time. He could do, you know, checking the watch, things of these natures. 
fingers. I felt like that would have been necessary for CM Punk, but he doesn't come with any fists. He comes with two pairs of open hands, which, I don't know, I, I wasn't really feeling that. Would have liked to see some different hands here with Punk. But speaking of this CM Punk, this is something that I noticed as well. And that is going to be that this Walmart exclusive CM Punk, I think it's the exact same figure as the Chase version of the Unmatched Series 4, except it has a hoodie. So I think these figures are the exact same. I think they have the same exact trunks. They just have, one has an AEW hoodie and one of them does not. You guys know that the Unmatched Series 4 figure in the long tights comes with a hoodie, but it is a different hoodie. The Chase version doesn't come with a hoodie whatsoever, and this Walmart exclusive version does have a hoodie, and it and it has the same exact trunks. So, I thought this was a genius move business-wise by Jazzwares and AEW, because the Chase version is going to be extremely hard to get, but they made this Walmart exclusive version because it's going to be a lot easier to get than the Chase, and they knew making the long tights version, the regular version from Unmatched Series 4, you would have to buy both to have both looks of punk and they knew the chase would be extremely hard to get so they made the walmart exclusive in trunks and the regular version in long tights i know a lot of people wanted the chase version in long tights but now you guys can understand why they didn't do that because the walmart version is in in trunks so that makes a whole lot of sense to me genius move right there now you have three different punks your hardcore punk collectors are going to go after that chase your chase collectors are going to go after that punk but now you have the people that don't really care about the chase don't want to fork out the hundreds for it you can get that walmart exclusive version not saying it's not going to be increased in price Hopefully it'll be available a whole lot easier than the rest of the punks and you know Even though it's Walmart exclusive, maybe it won't be a crazy price Of course it will be when it first releases But if you just play the you know play a little waiting game or try to you know check your Walmart's man Maybe this thing will be mass-produced and you'll be able to get your hands on next up We have the JR ringside exclusive. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I definitely noticed it I didn't address it in my original video, but JR's chair is pretty small. Did anybody else notice this? I have a chair that I sit in every single day that is virtually the same exact chair right? It's a nice office chair, gaming chair, whatever the hell you want to call it. You can, uh, if I stand up to it, the thing literally comes up to my shoulder. I'm pretty sure I'm taller than JR. And so he's, he just, he reigns over this chair, man. He reigns over the chair. I know it's a weird angle, but at the same time, I think it's a small chair. It's a pretty small chair, at least from what I, where I'm sitting in my chair, his chair looks small. So that's just something that I wanted to address. You guys may have noticed it already, but he has a small chair. Another thing that I wanted you guys to notice in a detail you might have missed, the Darby app Allen, the Sammy Guevara, the CM Punk from Walmart, and the Adam Hangman paid from Walmart. All those figures, the exclusives to Target and Walmart, they look to be finalized to me. The, you guys will notice that a lot of the figures that were on display at FanFest had prototypes painted, right? They had prototyped ha heads, they had the, the little bolts in the shoulders to let you know that they were prototypes. This CM Punk, this Darby, this Sammy, and this Page, all of these figures are finalized, man. Some of them even have packaging, so I would imagine these figures are going to hit retail in the next one or two months. I would even say in the next six to eight weeks, these figures are going to be available at Walmart and Target, so you better... I don't know if you'd start looking now, you know? I get, I'm, I'm sure... I just... I'm willing to bet before we get to the month of July, before we get to July, I bet somebody's going to find one of these figures on the pegs at their Walmarts or Targets, and it's going to go viral in the figure community and all those things. I'm just saying, keep your eyes peeled. These figures are going to be available soon. I bet Punk and Paige will probably be ready before Darby and Sammy, but it's just something to put out there. I, I swear, bro. I, I'm just telling you right now, do not be shocked if Punk and Paige hit very soon. That CM Punk might be the first ever CM Punk AEW figure to hit mass retail because the Unmatched Series 4 isn't even at ringside yet, so that it's at least another two to three months before that figure hits, but I bet these hit first. We'll have to see about that. We haven't even seen mock images of Unmatched Series 4, so you can bet your bottom dollar that CM Punk and Paige will be hitting your Walmarts very soon because you guys can tell already that these are not prototypes. These are not hand-painted. These are mass-produced from the factory. You can tell it by the way they look. Another thing that I want to talk about, guys, is the pants on these figures, okay? I know that sounds weird, but if you look at all the different guys that were in pants, the Unmatched 5 Kenny, the Ringside Exclusive JR, the, the Excalibur, the Tony Schiavone, even the Jericho from Unrivaled 11 in his prison jumpsuit, you guys will notice that they gave him thigh cut, bend, you know, double jointed knees, then they even have a shin cut, so they gave these guys tons of articulation. I don't think it was uh, that necessary to give them lower leg articulation like that, but I love it. I'm glad that, I, I want to say that I had a part in that, you know what I'm saying? I, I just feel that Magic put that in specifically for me. He, he knew that I would be like, oh damn, no leg rotation, and then they put it in there. 
They gave us double leg rotation, tons of articulation with these guys, guys in suits. You know, you want them to be able to move around. And it's crazy because you would think, you know, in real life when you wear a suit, you're not as, you know, you know your range of motion is kind of limited. But then when you put people in figure form in suit, they have more articulation than the dudes that are half naked. So that's just one of those weird things. But I noticed that, that all the guys in legs had these super articulated legs and arms and stuff so I think that's really awesome I can't wait to see what they feel like in hand it makes the figure pose a lot better feel a lot better in the hand I think these figures are going to be incredible but I had to talk about the pants articulation next up we have Brian Danielson this figure right here I think this is an immaculate figure but I don't know if you guys noticed it, but he has two figures. He has a Chase variant and a regular edition. I didn't address this in the video. I might have said that I think he he was the Chase. But I felt like with so many different images and screenshots and things I have to mull through when we get a fan fest and reveals and stuff like that, it's, it's like a freaking... It's like, you know that episode of Spongebob? where he forgets everything except for how to find Dine and you know his the the Spongebob's in his head are running around with the flames and all that stuff like that and burning everything and shredding everything that's how it feels in my office when there's a day of reveals it's just constant chaos but getting back on track this Brian Danielson has a chase figure and you have your maroonish red and your brighter red both of them look incredible I cannot wait to see what these things look like and exactly which one is the chase I couldn't tell you right now but this looks like the best Daniel Bryan and Brian Danielson figure ever made. And so I can't wait to get it in hand. It looks incredible. I can already tell that the torso is completely one of one sculpt. That's something that Jazzwares has been doing. Incredible. I don't know how they do it, but it looks damn good. And I can't wait to get the figure in hand. But yes, Brian Danielson is the chase or one of the chases in Unmatched Series number 5. And the last thing that I wanted to address, maybe a detail that you guys missed, in AEW Unmatched Series number 7, the CM Punk LJN figure in the long tights. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but he has all his tattoos. Look up there. He has his Pepsi tattoo and his Cobra Commander tattoo up there in full fruition. Now, I will be honest, they're missing a little bit of details. Maybe that's the way they got around the copyright slash trademark. I don't know how they did that exactly. Maybe that's something that they had to do. But I thought it was pretty cool, man. So to have that up there on the figure, very detailed. I think that looks awesome. And so I, I think it's great. I don't have any issues with that whatsoever. I think that's great to include that. You know, you could easily get a decal or something like that. Maybe we'll have to do that for the Unmatched series, stuff like that. I know a lot of people have done that with their elites over the years. But them having that included on the LJN, all you have to do is fill in the Pepsi tattoo or fill in some details on the Cobra Commander and bam, it's perfect. You know, there's no, you know, they're not gonna, Pepsi's not gonna call you up even though it wouldn't shock me if they knew you did it to your figure and they called you up and arrested you. I think that, you know, you're gonna be able to get away with that. So that would be awesome. But that is all the little missed details that I could find from all the reveals at FanFest, man. I would love to know if you guys noticed anything that I have not addressed in both videos. If you guys missed our full coverage of that over there, Definitely go check that out from FanFest. It was a great day of reveals, and it was absolutely insane. But go check it all out to cover it in full detail. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for checking it out. I'd love to know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, we got to get into our random shout-out. Again, if you guys would like. If you guys would like to shout-out in a future video, all you have to do is comment down below, like the video, subscribe, and be active on the channel. And you yourself could earn a shout-out here on the channel. But today's shout-out is actually going to be to UCW Unscripted Championship Wrestling who says, love how you're always on top of reveals. And I told you, man, every single day there's a day of reveals. I am running like a madman around this office, losing my damn mind. And uh, it, it's, it's, it's kind of amazing that I don't lose my own name, you know, like SpongeBob did. But huge shout out to UCW for the epic comment, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a blessed day. Check out the reveals. Check out the details. I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, that's it. With all due respect. You cross the line, I've been